mobility. During the right side, we spend a lot of time in the same sitting position doing a repetitive motion. The most common issues are tightness and stiffness, and that's why so many cyclists suffer from a lack of hip mobility and a stiff thoracic spine. Both can cause pain and discomfort, especially in the lower back, in the neck, but also in the hips and in the knees. The following five exercises will help you to stay pain and injury free. The active mobility exercises you can do before and after your workouts. I prefer the, to do the static stretching, static uh, exercises after my workouts or even better during the day independently of any other workout or cycling program. The first exercise is a 90-90 hip stretch. Sit down, bend your legs, hands on the floor and now put your legs slowly from side to side. You have also always to reach a 90 degree position with both legs when you touch the ground. Do this for 10 times and then stay in this 90-90 position. Now, while you exhale, keeping your back straight, you hinge your torso forward and you will feel a nice stretch in your glutes. Inhale when you come back up. You can keep your hands on the ground as a support or you can extend your arms to the sides to intensify the stretch on your glutes. Exhale when you go down, hold the position for two seconds and inhale when you come back up. Do this eight times per side. The next exercise is a sideline thoracic spine mobility exercise. Lay down on your side, form a 90 degree angle with your legs, extend your arms in front of your chest. Start an upper body rotation while pushing your knees down and your hip forward. Exhale at the end of the rotation and inhale when you come back. The goal is to touch the ground with your shoulder blade. But it's really important that you focus on your hips and your knees. Never lift your knees while doing the rotation. If you're doing this, the exercise doesn't work. Feel a nice stretch in your chest and in your back while doing the exercise. Do 10 repetitions per side. Now we combine a quad and a hip flexor stretch in one exercise. Go onto your knees, put one leg forward, bring your heel up and grab the ankle with your hand. Now while you exhale you push your whole body especially the hips forward, hold the position for two or three seconds and while you inhale you come back up. Exhale, push forward, feel the nice stretch in the quads and in the iliopsoas, inhale, come back. If this position of the knee uh, gets uncomfortable you can put something soft like a pillow under your knee or also a towel. Do this exercise 10 times per side. The next exercise is a cobra stretch. Lay on your stomach, extend your legs on the floor and put your hands under your shoulders or even a little further forward. Now pushing into the ground, extend your arms, arch your back, bring your chest up and pull your chin towards the chest. You will feel a nice intensive stretch in your abs and you will also feel pressure on your lower back. That's okay, that's part of the exercise. But if the pressure is getting too much, you can put your hands more forward or you can even bend your arms and stay on your elbows. Hold this position for at least one minute. Now we're doing a pigeon stretch. It's a great hip opener. Bring one leg forward in a 90 degree position while sliding backward with the opposite extended leg. Put your hands on the ground, lift your chest and keep your hips in a parallel position to the ground. Now feel a nice stretch in the hip flexor of the extended leg and the piriformis of the banded leg. If you have a tight hip and you cannot reach the 90 degree angle with the leg, that's no problem. Bring your heel more into your body. Possibly you have even to sit on your heel and find the perfect position that works best for you. That's important. Focus more on the position of your hips. The hip has always to be parallel to the ground to get the best or the most out of this stretching position. Hold the position for at least one minute and then do the other side. I hope you enjoyed this mobility training session. Check also out our core stability and upper body program for cyclists if you haven't done so yet. And always remember, prevention is better than cure. Now you know the benefits of these exercises 
find these extra 15 to 20 minutes two or three times a week to add strength and mobility training to your cycling program. Stay healthy, have fun with the trainings programs and have a great cycling season.